Now let's fill in the elements and make this a beautiful sales page. So this is the layout that we created in our previous video. So let me add logo here in this column. So I, I need to pull up a logo really fast. So one of my logo, yes. So I will save this logo. Okay, then drag it here. It's perfect. So this would be the, my logo, right? So let me align this to center, perfect. So now I need to add in a menu here, custom menu. So here you have uh, different uh, menu templates that you can use. Let me use a lighter version. I don't need darker one here. So this would be fine. Okay. So here I need to add in the menu items. So menu items in the main options, you have these menu items. Let me add some of the values here. Home, apply. Yes, it's now home and navigation two, navigation three, whatever um, your wish, right? Your internal pages. Okay, and after that, we need the headline, the product headline. So for that, we need a text element. In the text element, we'll write, say this is a sales page for Thrive Architect, right? I'm selling Thrive Architect with this sales page. So like um, a new way to build stunning landing pages, right? This would be my headline. So let me align this to the sender and after aligning this, <coughs> let me um, change this to say um, my brand color. Okay. So, and after that, I need to change this to heading two. Okay. Now I need to add in again because I've changed the heading. Cool. So I can also edit the font size here. And make it center aligned that's cool right so this one i don't know yeah so and after that we need to add a sub headline for that i'm again gonna drop in text element and here i will write um design conversion friendly uh, landing pages on the fly using true VisiVic page builder. So this is a sub headline. So I can make it heading three and heading three. And let me change the color to somewhat more um, subtle, say like gray color. And let me change the alignment to center. And it seems that I need to um, change this to H4, I guess. No, H3 will be fine. And center alignment. So now after that, I need to have the video here, right? So video will be here. For that, I'm gonna drop video element and add in a video. Say like, let me pull in my video here. Um, where is it? Yes. Insert video, main options, YouTube. So it pulls up my uh, video review of Thrive Architect. So here I need to um, select fixed width. Of say like, so that it uh, fits in nicely. Um, this main option, okay. So after the video, we need uh, the call to action. So for that, we are gonna use call to action here, right? So there are different call to actions. Let us go with this one. That's cool, okay. So what I need to do is, I need to make in some uh, 
I'll margin adjustments. So I will add some padding here. Say like 30, 37 and here also 37. Yes, now it's, okay, let me make it 50 so that it aligns with the elements above it. Not 50, 70, I guess. So you need to play around with it for a while to get used to the layouts and all those things. Yes, so here, let me change the text. Uh, limited time offer buy it now blah 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 and this should be the same uh, color as this one right so we can change this by plugging my brand's hex code limited time offer so as you can see this is title case this is fully upper case so i can modify it here they have made it easy okay wait a second so it should be time offer it's now I typed it with uh, all lowercase, but still it's in title case. See this. Right? This is the original text that I entered, but if I select this title case, it will be title case. So, and after that, I will link uh, to uh, the checkout page here. Say checkout page. Okay. And after that, I need to add testimonials in this section. Remember that, right? So for testimonials, first I need to add um, headline, right? A text. So wait a second, why not I reuse what I created? Seems good, right? So this one would be the same font that I will be using for the headline of the testimonials. So let me just, I just duplicated it by holding uh, option key and dragging it down. Right now, uh, what customers say, what our customers say, right? So, and after that here, we have this, uh, testimonial section so right below the testimonial headline inside the background section you can see in the breadcrumbs this so let me add this bright full width wow this is great so uh, you can alter these testimonials as per your wish so as you can see this testimonial is contained within background section along with uh, this uh, testimonial headline this is as a whole testimonial background section right and after that we have content box we have created this for pricing uh, table right so what we need to do is just hold on uh, option or alt in your case or so just enter in pricing or our plans and here we can use pricing table widget there you have it you can select the template this one seems too good flat design <laughs> right so you can alter the color of this content box here so here uh, we can add a green color for this so that it's the most popular one and it non-verbally communicates to the users just go with it green green signal right just go with this plan right so i can alter the aspects different aspects texts of these uh, uh, pricing boxes i can add multiple pricing boxes as i showed you in my uh, earlier videos so i need to now link these to the checkout pages you can see right you need to remember that each and every element of this pricing boxes are customizable as per your wish here there are many options you can add animations right so suppose for example uh, this is a content box right you need to add animation for this popular pricing box so what you can do is just select this like this the content box and go to animation add new right and like zoom in i guess yeah or grow grow would be good wow man this is good so let me apply and show it to you because I'm excited with this animation. Preview. Okay, wait a second. When into view, it should grow. Okay, save, 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 save. Okay, preview. Yes. Did you see that? See this? See this effect you have here? That's cool, right? So 
like that's a great way to increase convergence for your popular plan and now we need to add some footer text here uh, for that for footer text we need to have text element two text elements i guess so we can have a disclaimer and all those privacy policy terms of, of conditions in one text box under a background section and we can have additional text box below it right so in here we can write um, whatever right so disclaimer terms of use privacy policy so you need to remember that for every landing page it's very essential for you to have these pages to uh, comply with the FTC rules and all those things right um, privacy policy is very essential especially with the GDPR on in place so let me align this to the center and I can link these individual uh, text to the respective pages on my site so let me link it to some page here for in order to let you uh, see this let me be super quick okay cool after that we need to have some copyright text here that says copyright uh, 2019 or whatever the year like this Right, and align it to center so now um, now we need to do some design work because this is very plain right we can do some design what we can do is uh, this is a contact box this, this can be white and this is a video section here right up to this thing so we can add a background color for this I've selected this background section here and let me go to the background style and add in some layer I may add a solid color or also I can add an image background or a gradient background, a pattern background or background effects. Right. So uh, let me add a plain background for this tutorial sake. And add a gray so that it's warm. OK. And as you can see, this background color has been added to this contact box by default let me select this content box and um, make the background color as transparent so that you know um, this background sections uh, background color will show up once I make this uh, content box uh, background color transparent and let me change this uh, text color to white and this also I guess I can make it white okay I made it white no this one is not good so I can make it white mm. and one thing that you can notice here is these icons are still uh, black in color so, so uh, I truly hope that uh, Thrive gives us an option to uh, you know invert the colors of an image or change the brightness or contrast of an image like uh, similar to Elementor right so you have this uh, constraint here um, let me uh, change the color of this background for it for those arrow marks to show up background section and let me go to background style and the solid color too I can make it um, somewhat bluish like this yeah that would be good that's a great color so uh, now as you can see there's some um, there's no margin on the top for this uh, um, video so what I can do is I can go to this background section and go to layouts and positioning and I can add some padding on the top so make sure that this uh, lock is uh, off if you have this lock turned on it will uh, you know proportionately increase the padding or decrease the padding so you need to turn this off if you need to only affect the top padding now you have this gap here so you can do the same gap here also okay that's good enough I guess <coughs> now you have this testimonials section so I guess like this is this margin is too low so I can decrease the width and make it align to the center yes that would be great or else make it quite wide 
that's good yes and after that our plans instance one instance two okay let me edit this so let me go to the pricing table and here we have a uh, monthly plans and also um lifetime plans as well suppose right so in the default instance that is the instance one that says monthly pricing and the second one is instance two that says lifetime price or lifetime deal okay i can add some emoji i guess no i can't i guess yes it's now working wow man superb landing page <coughs> this adds to the conversion that you get right so in the lifetime deal um we need to have some uh, elements so let me expand this yes in the lifetime deal we have this again uh, three uh, pricing boxes so rather than having this per month we can delete this have it like this for life okay seems good this would be like lifetime deal or whatever you can customize as per your wish and you can also change this color to green color as we did previously so here uh, comes the photo section so i can go to background section here and change the background style and add a gray layer to it perfect so okay now it fits in with the same background section and let me change this uh, color to white so okay guys the landing page is almost ready so now we need to test it uh, for responsiveness let me go to the tablet view okay and as you can see here uh, this uh, should be aligned to the right in tablet view and also it should have some padding and also this one should have some padding like this and after that this video here you can add some padding on all the sides like this and rest are all fine i guess these are testimonials so i can add some padding on all the sides and coming this to this surprising plan section so it seems everything's good here lifetime deal price monthly pricing should also be good and the footer section now the tablet view is good enough let's go to the mobile view and uh, do the necessary changes okay i'm in the mobile view here so and as you can see here um in desktop view these two columns were horizontally aligned next to each other but now these columns are one below the other right we need to make it in the same line for that we need to select all these columns and here the wrap columns is turned on just turn it off now the horizontal alignment is there but still this uh, logo is too small right so just select this column and go to layout and position and make it in line right and this one to make it add a margin here now this one is good right so we need to make this text a bit small to suit the mobile devices so let it be like 40 and this text should be also small let me make it 30 you know 30 to 24 would be fine yes 24 would be fine right so and the video here we go to layout and position and let me make it okay I have logged it because I need to make all the sides 10 yes perfect so in here decrease the padding so that it fits in nicely and rather than being a narrow um, element so I will remove this padding here but still it's not taking all the space it may mean that um, it's inheriting the properties of its uh, parent element or the container content box there you go here's the padding that he, it is inheriting so let me make it 10 yeah seems good right so it is now aligned nicely buy it now what our customers say i can make it in a single line um maybe 30 the testimonials are good our plans are arranged 
um, vertically so this is needed because mobile screens are very narrow <laughs> and it's not realistic to um, you know expect uh, this pricing tables to be horizontal to each other right to be arranged horizontally so this is good vertical layout is good for pricing plans when it comes to mobile devices so but you can add some padding not uh, around this um, uh, pricing tables so you have this content box right so for that content box I can add the padding in all the directions like this you can see here so that it fits in nicely. So that's the importance of adding a parent container for each and every uh, element. You need to use these elements only in these parent containers because it will be very flexible for you to alter the responsiveness, tweak the responsiveness when you have parent element um, um, outside the uh, child elements, the main elements. 